Today, we will reveal the most epic explosions that has occurred to SpaceX rockets and how it happened. Stick around to witness the most disastrous blast in the history of rocket launch. Spacecraft development is a high-risk and at times explosive field of endeavor. The Starship prototype developed by SpaceX is an example of this. The fully reusable launch system that will be used for future Moon and Mars missions has a history of explosions, ruptures and failed landings. Many of these failures occurred as a result of the fact that Starship is a new system that is trying to do something unusual. The never give up spirit is always charging in Elon's soul having failed over eight times blowing up SpaceX rockets here and there without pity. He never thought to himself that this thing would not work or just gave up. When Elon was starting out, he may not have gotten private investors who were interested in buying SpaceX shares, but he has to cough out millions of dollars to build one Starship. Elon has blown up more than seven Starships since he founded SpaceX in 2002. Now think about this yourself. If you had the hefty amount of money Elon used to invest in his company, perhaps you'll rush to buy your dream house or that car you always admire either online or at the car link. But Elon has blown up starships worth millions just in the name of colonizing Mars and landing tourists on the moon as his aim. It is preferable to comprehend this simple fact about SpaceX. SpaceX spent $2 million to build one metric ton of the Starship, and the second stage Starship is about 120 tons when empty, costing about $240 million to build. Coming to the first stage, the Super Heavy, it doubles the orbiter's weight and costs about $510 million to build one. This estimate costs SpaceX approximately $750 million to build a single Starship capable of flying into space. Since its inception, SpaceX has blown up more than seven starships, amounting to millions of dollars in lost revenue. Nevertheless, Elon Musk has not given up on his ambition to send humans to Mars even though he has burned these rockets and spent a lot of money in the process. Instead, he continued to build a starship, hoping that his dreams would come true. And surprisingly, Elon's dream is gradually becoming a reality, isn't it? Elon not only spent a lot of money on the Starship, but the Raptor engine drains a lot of money from the company's account almost every day. But just for a second, we'd like to be curious. Currently, tourists are not traveling to space in this manner. Who or which company sponsors SpaceX to fund manufacturing processes? Let's talk about that another time, but for now, here are all of the epic explosions that have occurred since SpaceX was founded. The first is Starship SN1 tank ruptures in SpaceX pressure test. SpaceX's SN1 prototype ripped apart during a pressure test at its launch pad in Boca Chica, Texas on February 28, 2020. At the time, the prototype was undergoing a liquid nitrogen pressure test. As a result, the prototype's mid-section collapsed, causing it to fly upward before collapsing on the ground. Elon Musk, the company's founder, claimed to be taking the incident in stride and planning to improve SN2 in a series of tweets released immediately after the explosion. And secondly, in a SpaceX test, the Starship SN3 breaks up. Another cryogenic pressure test for the Starship SN3 prototype did not go as planned. The SN2 test piece was fine. As a result, the prototype tank of the Starship SN3 collapsed on April 2, 2020. SN3 was testing its ability to withstand the tremendous pressure of very cold fuel brought in ahead of launch. Musk stated that SN3 passed an ambient temperature test the night before in a tweet. We'll see what data review says in the morning, but this could have been a test configuration error. Musk said in a follow-up tweet adding, Some valves leaked at cryotemp. I'm fixing it and will retest it soon, Musk said. After a SpaceX engine test, the Starship SN4 explodes. SpaceX's next prototype, Starship SN4, blew up in a violent explosion on May 29, 2020. The catastrophic failure happened just a minute after a short test of its Raptor rocket engine, though it was unclear what triggered the explosion. Nevertheless, as with previous explosions, Musk insisted that the company is learning from each test and progressing. The Starship SN4 prototype, on the other hand, was by far the most tested and longest-lived Starship prototype at the time. SN4 passed five static fire engine tests before exploding. Fourth, SpaceX purposely blew up Pop's Starship SN7 tank. Following the explosion of the Starship SN4, SpaceX built the SN5 and SN6 prototypes before moving on to the SN7, which it purposefully failed. The Starship SN7 prototype tank exploded during a pressure test on June 23, 2020, but this was a deliberate failure. 
SN7 had just finished another pressure test a week before, which had resulted in a leak. The second test, given the expected explosion, was significantly more flashy. SN8 Starship crashes in a fireball landing. The SN8 prototype took a stunning flight on December 9, 2020, achieving numerous milestones before failing to land and exploding in a blaze. Instead, the prototype rocketed to a height of around 7.8 miles using its three Raptor engines, 12.5 kilometers. When the rocket reached its maximum altitude, it shot its engines and belly flopped down to the launch pad. However, the rocket landed too quickly due to lower than expected fuel tank header pressure after firing one more engine before impact to achieve an upright landing. Musk was delighted with the way things were going. Great job, SN8! Musk made the announcement on Twitter on December 9th. Controlling all the way to putting the crater in the right spot was epic, even if reaching Apogee would have been great. The Starship SN9 flies high and lands hard. On February 2nd, 2021, SpaceX's Starship SN9 surpassed SN8 in altitude before collapsing in its own spectacular explosion. It flew to a height of about 6.2 miles or 10 kilometers and then performed a complex horizontal flip to simulate re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. However, after six and a half minutes of flight time, it collided with the landing site too forcefully, resulting in a disastrous crash. Again, we've just had to work on the landing a little bit, said lead integration engineer John Innsbrucker during SpaceX's launch webcast. We obtained a lot of excellent data, and the primary goal, demonstrating vehicle control during subsonic re-entry, appeared to be quite good, and we'll take a lot from that, he added. Starship SN10 lands, then explodes. On March 7th, 2021, the prototype Starship SN10 ascended to its target height of 6.2 miles, practiced the horizontal re-entry flip, and landed safely, outperforming its predecessor SN9. Unfortunately, some flames were seen near the base of SN10 shortly after landing, and the vehicle detonated on the launch pad. Musk then claimed that the Starship landed too quickly due to insufficient thrust caused by a fuel header tank problem. During the hard landing, the legs of the landing system and a portion of the engine skirt were crushed. The explosion's damage occurred a few minutes later. During landing, the Starship SN11 crashes. SpaceX's Starship SN11 launched in dense fog on March 30, 2021, to suffer the same fate as its predecessor, the SN10. The SN11 explosion, like the SN10 explosion, reached a height of 6.2 miles or 10 kilometers before returning to Earth for a landing attempt. The aircraft's onboard cameras went dark six minutes into the flight. It appears to have exploded over the landing pad before resuming its journey to Earth. Looks like we've got another thrilling test of Starship number 11, SpaceX launch commentator John Isprucker said during the broadcast. Starship 11 will not return, no landing is planned. Elon Musk later tweeted that engine 2 of the three Raptor engines on Starship SN11 had problems during ascent that worsened when it was restarted for the landing burn. A remarkable thing happened shortly after the landing burn began. We should know what it was after we analyze the parts later today," said on Twitter at the time. The Starship SN15 made it through the launch and landing. After the Starship SN11 explosion, SpaceX took a break from launches to undergo extensive revisions. Then there was an epiphany. SpaceX achieved Starship success on May 5, 2021, when their Starship SN15 prototype launched and landed safely without exploding. The test flight, which occurred on the 60th anniversary of Alan Shepard's launch as the first American in space, demonstrated all the lessons SpaceX had learned in developing Starship thus far. SpaceX has since developed additional Starship prototypes and its rocket, the Super Heavy, in preparation for an orbital mission. In August 2021, SpaceX launched its Starship SN20 atop a Super Heavy for the first time, becoming the world's tallest rocket. Do you think SpaceX will blow up more Starships? Be sure to check out your favorite SpaceX video here.